Through a number of inquiries we have received from our previous videos, we will demonstrate numerous test cases revealing the strength and durability of secure set versus concrete. There will be four pole extraction tests. One post of each type will be set in concrete, and the other post of each type will be set in secure set. As industry standards, each post hole is 24 inches deep, and for each post we've used concrete, we've used an 80 pound bag of cement, which was pre-mixed in a wheelbarrow before setting the post. This testing device extracts the post from the ground. This pump pumps fluid to this hydraulic cylinder, and the extraction force is measured in pounds and displayed on this digital readout. When the max button here is pressed, the maximum force to extract the post from the ground for that particular test is displayed on the digital readout. When the reset button here is pressed, the display will be reset for the next test. Are you ready? Okay, let's start the test. This is a 4x4 wood post set in concrete. We'll begin the testing now. We've reached 400 pounds. We've just passed 700 pounds. We're at 900. We're at a thousand. Okay, the force is decreasing because the ground is giving away, which means we've reached our maximum force. Let's see what the maximum force was to extract this post. As you can see, the maximum force to extract this 4x4 wood post set in concrete is 1,772 pounds. I'm now going to press the reset button to reset the display for the next test. This is a 4x4 wood post set and secure set. We'll begin the testing now. We're at 500 pounds. We're at 800 pounds. We're at 1,200. Force is decreasing because the ground is giving away, which means that we've reached our maximum force. Okay. 
As you can see, the maximum force to extract this 4x4 wood post set and secure set is 2,677 pounds. I'll now press the reset button to reset the display for the next test. This is a 2 and 3 eighths galvanized post set in concrete. Let's begin the test. We're at 400 pounds. We're at 700. We're at 1,000. Okay, the ground is giving away, so we've reached the maximum force in extracting this pole. As you can see, the maximum force to extract this 2 and 3 eighths galvanized post set in concrete is 1,461 pounds. This is a 2 and 3 eighths galvanized post set and secure set. Let's begin the test. We've reached 500 pounds. We're at 1,000. We're at 1,500. We've reached 2,000 pounds. The ground is breaking away. So we've reached the maximum force in extracting this pole. As you can see, the maximum force to extract this 2 and 3 eighths galvanized post set and secure set is 2,094 pounds. As you can see from these extracted posts, secure set bonds very well to the surrounding soil. Now try doing this with concrete. Now we'll demonstrate two more comparative tests. We'll simulate a high wind side load condition. Again, we'll observe the performance of secure set versus concrete. We'll pull over two 4x4 wood posts and two 2 and 3 8 Schedule 40 galvanized posts. This first 4x4 wood post that we're going to pull is set in concrete. Now we're going to pull over this 4x4 wood post set in secure set. Now we're going to pull over these 2 and 3 8 Schedule 40 galvanized posts. This one is set in concrete, and this one is set in secure set. Secure set has demonstrated in our extraction test and our simulated side load test that it holds wood and metal posts solidly. It is also just as effective with vinyl posts.
you've been using this for a while and I think that we just timed it out that as a combined um, time between the five posts that we set on the end and the 12 here for 17 posts it was just a little over 31 minutes in your years as a foreman and uh, someone experienced in this field can you give us a brief description of your opinion of what you've been able to accomplish with this foam honestly when I first seen it I was like no way you know what I mean I didn't think that ever worked after I done a couple jobs I was like, man, I'll never use concrete again. It's, I mean, it breaks your back. It's slow. Uh, it's messy. You gotta have water source. This is just quick and easy. You just mix, pour, scrape out, and go. You know, it's, it's so much faster. You make a lot, so much more money. It's not even funny. I've done a lot better financially than ever. I think the advantages are the ease of use, uh, instead of moving bags of sack grade around from hole to hole and, and uh, the strain and the weight of the, the product of sack grade. This is a lot simpler to work with. You can stage out several holes in advance and a couple guys come behind and uh, set the secure set into the hole and I think all in all it's a really good system. Uh, you think it saved you on your labor costs using this? I think it did, absolutely. I think uh, if we factor in how much time it would have taken to manhandle the sack crate around the 1,400 feet that we have here versus carrying uh, two, two and a half gallon uh, pails, uh, it was a lot easier. And how about the material itself? Did it set up fine? Did it secure the post correctly? Absolutely. It sets up. It gives you a little bit of time to still true the posts up if you need to. And once it's set, and probably you know a hard set where you can't really move it in about 45 minutes, we're ready to start the rest of the project. Well, thank you very much. You got it. Okay.